welcome to part 1 of the official Signal RGB tutorial series. This video will cover how to configure your devices and layouts. The first thing you'll want to do when you've installed Signal RGB is to configure your devices. If you have any kind of RGB fans such as Li and Li, Corsair, Thermaltake, or devices that are connected to a compatible motherboard RGB header, then you will need to do some configuration as these devices will not be automatically detected. The Devices tab under My Rig is where you can see all of the compatible devices you have connected. Go into the Devices tab and find the controller or motherboard that your RGB devices are connected to and then click on it. For this example, we'll configure this Corsair Lightning Node Pro. In the bottom right corner, click on the Config button. On the right side, you can see that this controller has 6 ports for channel 1 and 6 ports for channel 2. In this case, we have 3 Corsair LL fans connected to the first 3 ports of channel 1, so that's what I'll be selecting. Simply drop down the menu and select the fan type in each port. After you've done that, you can go back to the devices list using the back arrow in the top left corner. Now you'll be able to see the fans show up as individual devices in this list. The process for motherboard headers is exactly the same. Find your motherboard in the device list, click config in the bottom right corner, and select the devices that are connected to the motherboard headers. The next part is to configure your layout. Click on the layouts tab under my rig to get started. This is the fun part where you can position all of the devices on the effect canvas so that you'll have the RGB effect flowing through your entire setup the way that you want it to. When you first enter this part of the engine, it might seem a bit confusing, but what you're actually looking at is just every single device and how it's positioned on the canvas. The first thing you'll want to do is hold the Alt key on your keyboard and click on this eye icon next to any device. This is going to instantly hide every single device. Now you can start configuring your layout easily one device at a time. For this example, I'll start off with the Razer RGB monitor. There are four things you can do with each device. You can adjust the X and Y position, the scale, which is what determines how much of the canvas the device is capturing, and rotation, which is especially useful if you mount an RGB fan upside down in your PC. All of these parameters will change how the effect will look on each device. What I want personally is for this layout to match the physical positions of my devices. I know that my monitor is at the front of my setup, so I'll click and drag it to the top of the canvas. I also want the monitor to capture more of the effect on the canvas, so I'll increase the scale a little bit. Now that I've got the monitor configured, I'll do the RGB fans next. Something to keep in mind is when you select the device on the canvas, it will make the physical device blink blue. That's how you'll know which fan you're positioning. Now continue this process until you've got every device the way that you want it to be. When you have a layout that you're happy with, you can save it as a preset by clicking the save icon here at the top. Enter a name for the layout and press save. Now you can drop down this menu at any time and quickly select from your different layouts. If you just want a simple layout that doesn't require much thinking, then we personally recommend having a layout where every device is centered on the canvas, with the scale being as large as possible so it captures the most of the canvas. Remember not to set the scale too large because if it goes off of the canvas then the effects won't look right. The box will turn yellow to indicate that you're off of the canvas. You can center a device by clicking this center button. Do this for every device and then you'll have a layout that looks like this, which you can save as centered. This is the layout that will look great for just about every effect including our game integrations. This is the end of this tutorial and we hope it gets you started with Signal RGB. Thank you.